And so in reality, this video is actually for the past version of myself. These are all the things that I wish I knew back then in order for me to faster overcome my low motivational state and my addiction to modern day pleasures. Whenever you engage in activity that first requires you to experience some sort of pain, so we start with a painful stimulus, by the end of the activity, you will see an increase in dopamine levels and then a sustain in high dopamine levels a few hours after that activity, and then your dopamine levels will return to baseline. So the pain pleasure balance remains the same because you had a painful stimulus, you managed to overcome it, and then your brain rewards you with a lot of dopamine, and then you return to baseline values. As you can see, there is no crash of dopamine here. Whenever you smoke a cigarette, there is no painful stimulus that you need to overcome. You will immediately get a peak, a spike in dopamine. However, because there was no amount of effort needed to smoke, you not only get a spike in dopamine, but then you also get a crash in dopamine. Your dopamine levels drop below baseline. However, after that, they will return to baseline. However, if you engage in activities that only induce pleasure and there is no amount of effort involved, what will happen is that with repeated use, for example, let's take smoking, with repeated use of cigarettes, not only will your dopamine peaks get smaller and smaller, so you will not experience that much pleasure, the dip in dopamine will increase and you will not be able to return to baseline values. So your baseline values of dopamine will drop. And this is where we develop a dopamine deficit.